Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your afternoon quickie tarot video. Hope you guys are having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Um, welcome to my channel, Aquarius by Aquarius, and I am your host, Colleen. I've already said my prayers and I want to be the first to tell you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here, for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you and thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm doing this video on October 16th where I'm at 2024 and keep in mind that tarot is timeless. Okay, when you find it, if you're drawn to a title, something here could be for you okay some message so let's get into this and see what wants to come out start off the reading here with the island time wellness any oracle messages heart with a key <laughs> welcoming love meeting the one open your heart and getting together perfect okay so somebody may um, have a heart with a key if you see that here in this photo heart with a key and we have talking talking on the bottom so somebody may come be coming toward you or vice versa to um, talk about how they feel um, a very open-hearted conversation okay show me another card we're going to pull from the uh, wisdom of the oracle Tell me what I need to see here from the wisdom of the oracle. And if you see this, we have clean it up. Number 21. You could be seeing twos, ones, or threes in any sequence or format, or even 21s for that matter. And we have clean it up. So I feel like there's going to be some emotions that come out, okay, either from you or from someone um, who wants to talk with you. I feel very much there's there's going to be an open hearted conversation or discussion and after that happens it may lead to a decision a fork in the road right here on the bottom of the deck card 13 which is also ones and threes so very important you might be seeing ones threes twos 21 13 or in any sequence okay even in uh, reverse reverse here so let's get into the tarot i'm going to pull nine cards which usually represent past present future Tell me what I need to see for this reading. Nine cards. I'm using the Voyager Tarot. And I'm clarifying with the Anime Tarot. And I'll close out with the Moonology deck. Again, thank you so much for coming to my channel, Aquarius by Aquarius. Nine cards. Sage of Cups, which is um, water energy or Cancerian energy, and Child of Worlds. Okay. That's like a page of pentacles. That's very interesting. Now, let's check this out. For me, this is what you don't see coming. So for me, these are the future cards. They're going to flip them over. We have the emperor on the bottom of the deck in the reverse. There could be somebody who is in the yang energy um, that maybe there's been a, a break or a pause or something in the connection, but we don't know yet. Let me get more out because I have the seven of wands and the woman of crystals. Four cups in the reverse. All right. And child of crystals in the reverse. Now, this is always like extreme inquisitive card. All right. So a lot of times it's associated with um, spying. Okay. Child of crystals is the um, page of swords. This is in the reverse. If you saw that, if you saw me holding that up. Okay, we got some major arcana here. The major arcana 
uh, that I have is the High Priestess, which is Pisces Virgo energy, and I have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius energy, and the Magician, which is um, also Virgo and Gemini energy. It's Mercury energy. We have Neptune energy over here. Face card, Woman of Crystals, which is Air energy, Aquarius, uh, Libra in particular, and Gemini energy, but it's air, but it doesn't have to be any sign. All right, and extreme, extreme inquisitive minds here, two of wands, two of worlds. Someone is trying to make up a decision, um, and I feel like it's if they should go towards, all right, if they should go make a move. Someone's trying to make a decision if they should make a move, and they might be trying to um, spy to do that. Now, if they can't physically spy on you, they could be getting readings, okay, seeing psychics or anything like that, any sort of diviner, if they have absolutely no way to spy on you, like if you have like zero social media accounts or if you've blocked them, trust me, if you've blocked somebody, they can always open a new account and come and spy on you that way. So blocking never really works, just you know, but most of you guys know that. Tell me about the Sage of Cups. Cancerian energy, also a little bit younger energy, but it's also the energy of heart with a key, wearing the heart on the sleeve. So you see how those two first cards that come out, how they match up energy. I do feel like someone's going to wear their heart on their sleeve and literally say what they feel. Eight of Disc is in the reverse. And I feel it has a lot to do with the fact that you're not focusing on this person because... The queen, of the, the queen of Swords is here in the center, but on the bottom of the deck, we have a Queen of Wands. Now, my pre-shuffle, I got two Karmic cards with this. Maybe there's an Aries Leo Sag in the mix somewhere, because we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Ace of Disc in the reverse. So maybe somebody is going to come in and say, look, I didn't focus on this or us because you had this person in the way. Someone could be saying that. I'm just giving an analogy. Sometimes this is my karmic card, but sometimes it's literally dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. Somebody might come in and say that, all right? Um, you know. Because there's, there's some energy, when it says clean it up, there's some energy to clean up. And someone might literally be saying, look, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come in, I didn't um, pursue, I didn't do any of these things because this energy was around. And so I just sort of stayed back and watched from the sidelines here. Tell me about the seven of wands that's a lot of opposition but this is the past energy as well okay we're not in the future and we're not in the current energy right now we're in the past energy this person may be like look i didn't focus on us because there was another person in the mix tell me about the seven of wands so this could have been a person who resisted you or the connection because literally we have queen of disc taurus virgo capricorn energy ten of cups reverse Queen of Wands, reverse, okay, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Karmic Energy, and the Star, reverse. So literally, it could be somebody who is an Earth sign coming in to say that. Doesn't have to be, but it could be someone literally, because we have the Star in reverse, which is Aquarius, and we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, which can be Aries, Leo, Sag, or Karmic, and then we have the Ten of Cups, reverse. Like, somebody might be like, look, I, I didn't want to interrupt your happy family or I didn't want to get involved um, you know with the family like because there's some opposition here there's some opposition and someone might just say look this this is why and it could go either way okay it can be you saying it to somebody someone saying it to you give me another card for the past we have the four cups reverse so this is like all right instead of waiting I moved on Someone could have been watching to see if there was a change in, in the other person's situation. That could be a form of the spying. Like, yeah, we have the higher font in reverse and Queen of Cups. Especially if somebody in the Ace of Swords, somebody might have been waiting to get clarity to see if there was an ending in, in someone's status or a change in someone's status. 
And so somebody saw that there was no change in someone's status, so somebody decided to move on. Literally, Ten of Wands. Moving on, we have Two of Cups. Somebody, you know, might have literally had to move on here. Um, made a decision. That can be you, can be them. Tell me about the Child of Worlds and the current energy, the Child of Worlds in reverse. It also says the player, but it's also a card of, okay, well, I found out, you know, I went snooping or whatever. I did my research and I found out um, somebody was still in the mix. So I took this information and I cut off. I just disconnected. But then we have here a setback. We have the five of worlds. That's where someone cut off, disconnected, left, abandoned ship. Tell me about the child of worlds. Could be no conversation currently. Nine of cups, reverse, and not the three of disc. All right. So this is like someone's current energy. Someone's in the current energy of like I never got to say this I never got to say that I wanted this this was my wish fulfillment I wanted this with the other person I never got to tell the other person that I wanted this with them and the current energy is well maybe maybe if I just have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation just maybe maybe we can start over and I just heard come clean and the card is clean it up I heard come clean so maybe somebody may be thinking if they have this honest truth honest conversation that and clear up the energy that maybe you guys can start over and we have the Prince of Wands this is someone it's Sagittarius energy and we have Leo energy with the Sun and we have the six of disc, but I'm, you know, if I were to look at this, I'd say that somebody else is still in the mix. Because someone else being in the mix with this six of disc, three people, and really only two people should be in the mix here. And this is why someone's inconsistent. This is why someone's in, someone's out, someone's hot, someone's cold. Because someone's giving to two situations instead of one. And somebody may literally want to clear that up. And we have the Emperor in reverse. We have Justice in the Uprise. We have uh, Libra and Aries right there. Someone may be very, very conflicted. You see how this person is hot? Someone could be a hot head. <laughs> Show me what the Woman of Crystals is trying to say here. six of cups so there's someone in the current energies of you guys are not in each other's energy you guys are not most likely communicating this heart to heart conversation hasn't happened but this is a six of cups so this is like okay even though I've cut you off I can't let you go you're very close to me I still think about you You know, maybe a conversation is in order here. Page of Cups again, but in the upright. Nine to disc in reverse. Maybe we should come together and at least have this conversation. At least clear the air. Something about time have gone by, but not wanting to waste any more time. Tell me about the Five of Worlds. Like I said, there was already a disconnect. There was already a tower between you guys. We have Mars energy, Scorpio, Aries energy, and Nine of Swords. A lot of thought about this disconnect. A lot of thought about abandoning this ship. Someone's in a lot of thought about this. And this is going to be the person who disconnected first. Because obviously, if one person disconnects, the other one may wait around for a bit, but ultimately even the other person will disconnect because out of lack of no other option, right? So I feel whoever disconnected first is in this energy. Yeah. 
Yeah. And this really, in this energy of thinking, okay, even daydreaming about um, you and them, what it would be like to move beyond this, beyond this current energy. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse. Nine of Disc. All right, so this is somebody who is coming back either single or somebody who comes out and says, hey, are you single? Are you still dealing with that other energy? Even if it had nothing to do with like somebody being in a commitment or something like that, someone might literally be saying, look, you know, are you, are you alone? Is somebody else still around you? Are you okay? Are you fine? This is a card of independence and sovereignty and a lot of stability, just not having another person. But this is breaking the silence about that. Someone might even come in and say, look, I'm not dealing with that other energy anymore. So the future is somebody may want to know if someone else is still involved or someone may reveal that someone else is not involved anymore. These didn't come out, but I just wanted to. Thing is, someone wants to talk. Someone's really dying to talk and say something here. Very important, but no one, nothing has been said. Someone might come in and say, look, I'm, I want a relationship, but I can't be around you when this other person is around. Okay. Tell me about the nine of worlds, which is just literally what came out nine of disc. This is someone who wants to come together, all right? The chariot reverse. Cancer energy, but it's in the reverse, all right? This is a person who wants to come together, but this is a person who's not making a move. And this is a person who chose to disconnect first. I believe both people are disconnected. I believe one made the decision to disconnect and I believe the second person made the decision because there was no other option. It was just like, well, I can't really control what's happening here, so I must disconnect. I really feel both sides have a valid point. I feel like the one side is like, look, I can't connect with you with this other energy around and I feel like the other side is, but you could have at least told me that or you could have let me know because I just feel like there was a hard disconnect. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius Energy. This is all the future, Eight of Wands. Someone is really thinking about now is the time to reach out. Now is the time. Even though we've been cut off and I'm not happy about being cut off, but now might be the time to connect and reconnect. So someone could come in to the other person with a very sincere um, conversation, a very heart-to-heart -heart type of conversation. It's definitely being manifested here with a magician or maybe it involves a Gemini, Virgo person, Sagittarius person, or any, any sign I've named or not named. It can be anybody. The devil is in reverse. Again, the will of fortune is in the, the upright. I feel like this person feels that the worst is behind both of you. King of Cups, even though there's been a disconnect, this landed on the Woman of Crystals, even though there's been a disconnect, like I said, this person has feelings and cannot completely disconnect. They cannot disconnect from their heart. Even though there's been a physical disconnect, the heart cannot disconnect. So this person is manifesting this, and we have Capricorn energy here as well, and I feel like somebody is, is feeling like, look, the worst is behind the worst is behind us. What else? What else could happen? And someone is very hopeful and optimistic. So the whole basis of this reading is someone wants to communicate, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but they they just don't know. Um, I guess they don't know what to expect. But the thing is, someone has tried and tried to disconnect, but they can't. You keep coming to the mind, or vice versa. I have three bonus cards here that came out, so let's see what they say. It says, last quarter moon in Pisces, talk less, feel more, and that's what this person is, this whoever's coming in is definitely in their feelings, okay? They're definitely in their feelings because though they try to let go, they can't. 
New Moon and Gemini, think it through. That's what someone's currently doing. And Full Moon and Capricorn, take a reality check. And I do feel like someone is realizing or feels like the worst is behind and really that it will improve between you guys, at least once this conversation happens. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in for the afternoon video. Thank you for tuning into my channel, Aquarius by Aquarius. I love you guys and namaste, my friends.